Me Poo here, and this is how I optimize certain games with just speed step and clock speed. I'm going to use Far Cry New Dawn as an example as it's CPU heavy. Since my system is locked, I cannot traditionally use offsets. I start by running the game on max performance to get a feel for the temps. My main goal is to keep the clock speeds as high as possible and max temps up to 89C. Without throttle stop loaded, the system is reaching 94C. With balance mode selected in throttle stop and a speed shift of 128, I hit 75C. I still have some wiggle room as the CPU clock speeds are lower and I have around 15 degrees to play with. Using a speed shift of 100, the system hit 80C and clock speeds have increased. Using a speed shift of 90 causes the game to hit 93C. This will cause us to have to increase the speed shift. A speed shift of 94C nets us around 82C and still have room to play. So a 93 speed shift causes us to hit 93C. This is all I can do with this portion. Now I have to adjust the max clock. I'll set this to 42 as this will stop the clock speed from going any higher. This can happen if the game tries to use a single core, which will cause the clock speed to head toward 4.5 gigahertz. With a speed shift of 93, it hits 94C. I get about a one degree increase as well as some slightly higher clocks. A speed shift of 94 drops the temps to a max of 82C, which is dramatic. Now I'm going to set the max clock to 41 and then set the speed shift to zero. This turns out pretty good with some higher clocks in the 4G range along with better FPS. Unfortunately it does hit 94C which is over my goal.
Setting the speed shift to 92, we once again drop to a max temp of 85C. Technically, I would stop here, but since it has a max of 85C, I can still try to adjust. Trying these settings in the benchmark resulted in temps reaching 93C, a high of 80 FPS, a low of 47, and an average of 63. For comparison, here is high performance in the benchmark. This increased the max temp by 1 degree, making it 94C. The high FPS increased by 1, making it 81. The low increased by 5, making it 52. And the average only increased by 2, making it 65 FPS. Making further adjustments, I maxed the clock to 40 with a speed shift of 92. This resulted in a max temp of 88C. Running with a max clock of 40 and a speed shift of 92, the max temp stayed the same at 88C. Comparing this to max performance, max temps decreased by 6 at 88C, high FPS decreased by 1 at 80, low FPS decreased by 1 at 51, and the average FPS stayed the same at 65. So this is where I would stop as it's very, very close to high performance.
If you wanted to, you could drop the clock to a max of 39, which would keep your speed under the 4G range translating to slightly better temps. Running this in the benchmark compared to the last setting, max temp decreased by 3 at 85, high FPS increased by 1 at 81, low FPS increased by 2 at 53, and the average FPS stayed the same at 65. Lastly, here's the settings in game. With a speed shift of 92 and a max clock of 39, we get a max temp of 85C. I hope this video helps you in some type of way. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.